Hello students, today we are going to take up a new chapter of your English, chapter number 10, Rip Van Winkle, written by Washington Irving. So everyone, turn to page number 82, okay? So it is a story, it is a part of a story adapted from the lesson of Rip Van Winkle. Okay everyone, so listen to me. Okay, Rip Van Winkle. This story is about Rip Van Winkle, a good-natured but lazy man who goes away into the hills and falls asleep. When he awakens 20 years later, Rip finds that quite a few things have changed. So, I will continue with the chapter. Many years ago, at the foothills of the Catskill Mountains was a little village. In the village lived a simple, good-natured fellow named Rip Van Winkle. He was a kind neighbor, ready to help anyone. Everyone in the village liked him. The children of the village shouted with joy whenever they saw him. Because he played with them, he taught them to fly kites and shoot marbles and told them long stories so here many years ago at the foothill there was a small village foothill means what a low hill at the base of a mountain in that village there live a simple good-natured man good-natured means kind and friendly man his name was ribbon winkle he was a kind neighbor he is always ready to help anyone. So, everyone in the village liked him. When the children saw him, they shouted with joy. That is, they were very happy. Do you know why? It's because he played with them. He also taught the children how to fly kites, shoot marbles, and told them long stories. Okay? So let's continue with the next para. The only problem with Rip was that he was very lazy. He did no work on his own farm and just idled away his time. His fences were falling to pieces. His cow was going astray, which grew on his farm. Rip's constant companion was his dog named Wolf. To avoid work, he would walk away into the forest with his dog. But there was, uh, there was a problem in him. That is, Rip was a very lazy man. He didn't do any work on his farm and just idled away. Idle away means he just wasted his time. Since he didn't look after his farm the fences were all falling into pieces fences here it means a railing forming a wall around the land okay and his cow was also going astray astray means here the cow was going away that is from his farm why it's because he didn't look after the cow and what happened in the field which grew on his farm and uh, rip has only one constant friend his companion who it is his dog named wolf in order not to do the work what he do he would walk away into the forest with his dog okay so now let's see uh, let's see the last spera one day, Rip just walked on and on and reached the highest part of the mountains. It was late in the afternoon when he reached there. Tired after his long climb, he lay down and began daydreaming. It was soon evening and he realized it would be night by the time he reached his village. One day, what happened? Rip continued to walk on and on 
and finally he reached the highest part of the mountain when he reached there it was late afternoon so he lay down and started daydreaming daydreaming means he started thinking about things that he wanted to do sometimes don't you daydream about the things you want to have i know you all must be daydreaming sometimes okay then the time passed by it was evening and he realized that it would be night when he reached the village that is when he climbed down of the mountain again uh can you see the picture here the man in the picture is rip ben winkle all the children are very fond of him and they are playing with him and can you see a dog there it is his companion wolf okay now let's see the next one suddenly he heard a voice calling out rip ben winkle rip ben winkle he looked around and saw a short old man with thick hair and a grizzled beard walking towards him with a barrel he met signs to help him carry the barrel rip hurried to help the stranger who caught his hand tightly together they reached a place where there were some more odd looking men playing nine pins they were all dressed the same way and all of them had beards of various shapes and colors even though they were playing a game okay let's continue in the next slide uh, this part suddenly what happened he heard a voice calling out of him riven winkle riven winkle then when he looked around he saw a short old man with thick hair and a grizzled bear grizzle means the bear has turned gray in color then the man walks toward towards him with a barrel you look at, you look at the old man in the picture what is he holding in his hand he is holding a barrel okay barrel it is used for storing liquid or food so rip hurried to help the strangers who caught his hands tightly then both of them carried the barrel together and reach a place in that place he found some odd looking man that is the man who looked different what were they doing they were playing nine pins nine pins is a type of bowling game okay they all dressed the same way and all of them had beards of different shapes and colors so let's continue the last one even though they were playing a game their faces <coughs> were serious and there were silence the only sound was the noise of the ball which echoed in the mountains like thunder even though they were playing the game their fa their faces were serious that is they were not happy and there was silence um there was silence among them the only sound that could be heard was the noise of the balls only which echo that is bounced back the sound in the mountain like thunder as rip and his companion reached them they stopped playing and start stared at rip with a fixed gaze rip was really frightened his companion emptied the contents of the barrel into glasses and met rip drink it rip obeyed as he was trembling with fear since he was thirsty he drank a few more glasses and slowly fell into a deep sleep here rip and his companion they reach uh, when they reach them uh, who is the companion here the old short man okay and also the dog is also there all of them stop playing and look at rip with a fixed gaze 
that is with a fixed eyes without changing their eyesight when they look at him like that he was really frightened that is scared so the old man what he do he emptied what is inside in the barrel into glasses and gave to rip to what to drink it as rip was trembling with fear that is he is very scared okay he just obeyed the old man and drank it since he was thirsty he drank few more glasses and slowly what happened he fell into a deep sleep okay on let's see the next one on waking up he found that he was at the place where he had first met the old man he rubbed his eyes it was a bright sunny morning surely i have not slept here all night thought rip he looked around for wolf but he was nowhere rip whistled for him wolf wolf he then shouted no dog was to be seen where was this where has this do dog gone he muttered to himself he began to descend the mountains to go back to his village okay here when he woke wake up he found that he was at the place where he had first met the old man so he rubbed his eyes when he fully opened his eyes he found that it was a bright sunny morning he thought that he have not slept there all night so he looked around he started searching for wolf wolf is what wolf is his dog okay but he was nowhere so he tried to he whistled and shouted calling wolf wolf but what happened he didn't see any dog he said to himself he muttered to himself where the dog has gone he must be missing it right so he descend the mountain that is he climbed down the mountains uh, to go where to go back to his village okay now let's see the next slide as he near the village he met a number of people but he didn't know any of them the villagers also stared at him equally surprised who is this man said one i have never seen him before said another look at his long white beard and his wrinkled face on hearing this rip stroked his chin and to his astonishment he found his beard had grown a foot long and it was all white an old woman walked up to him and looked at his face for a moment then she exclaimed it is ribbon winkle she shocked it okay welcome home again old neighbor where have you been these 20 long years adapted from the lesson of ribbon winkle by washington irving so it is the last part of the story as he neared the village what happened he met many people but he didn't know any of them all the villagers also stared at him it is uh, it means they look at him as they don't know as they didn't know who he is they were also surprised okay one man asks who is the man another man again said he have never seen him before and another used to say to look at his long white beard and his wrinkled face they were all surprised to see a different man coming to their village. Actually, it is the village of uh, Ribbon Winkle, but he is coming back after a long time, but he didn't notice it at all. So all of them were surprised to see just a man. On hearing what they said, what happened, Rip stroked his chin. That is, he rubbed gently his chin, and to his surprise, he found his beard has grown a foot long it has become a foot long it means it has become very long and it was all white in color then 
an old woman walks towards him okay an old woman comes towards him and look at his face for a moment then she shocked it then she exclaims she shocked it okay it is riven winkle so she is surprised and she welcome him saying welcome home again old neighbor she asks where he had been the last 20 years where was he for the last 20 years so but he didn't know okay so what happened riven winkle has been had been sleeping for how many years for 20 years and what by uh, why did he fall into sleep after drinking what the old man gave okay that's how the story ends so now let's see some new words from the nation number one foothills it means what a low mountain or low hill at the bottom of a larger mountain good natured it means pleasant or friendly idle away it means what wasted astray it means out of the right way daydreaming it means thinking about pleasant things that you would like to do let's see the next one grizzle it means having gray or partly gray hair barrel a large round container for liquid or food echo to resound or cause to resound with an echo companion it means a person who is frequently associated with descent to move down astonishment means great surprise and the last one stroke it means to rub gently now from these lessons we are going to learn a moral okay so let's see what we have we can know from this lesson so listen carefully from this story uh, from the story of Riven Winkle we learned that what time goes on and wait for no one and the world keep moving forward and changing okay if we don't work while we are young then you will wake up one day and find that you have grown old and will be dependent on others to take care of you so we should not be a lazy person okay everyone in this story riven winkle always fill his spare time the spare time it means his free time to sleep he always used his time to sleep but what should we do we have to take advantages from our spare time okay that's the end of the story thank you everyone for listening thank you